Welcome to this new episode of ET Infra's Aviation Connect. Now today at Bharat Mobility Expo uh, happening out here in Greater Noida, we are showcasing you a new type of aircraft uh, known as VTOL, Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Now many of the aerospace startups in India are developing such kind of aircraft who will play a very cru crucial role in terms of the advanced air mobility solutions which are coming over all over the world. UAE, China, United States, they are at the very initial stages of approving air taxis. Now, this particular sort of aircraft, they would be instrumental in, in terms of the low altitude economy. Now, what exactly is a low altitude economy? Now, in low altitude economy, which is like all aerial activities, which take place under 1000 meters. Now, this sort of aircraft, like vertical takeoff and landing, one sort of authorized by the regulatory authorities would be able to take off cargo operations within the urban landscape. Uh, what is the benefits of this? Given the fact that our cities are getting very congested, such sort of mobility solutions definitely augurs well for our development. Now, these are one of the very initial prototypes which are being demonstrated out here at Bharat Mobility Expo. And hopefully, Blue Jay, which is the aerospace company or the aerospace manufacturer which is developing this craft, will go on to provide more advanced crafts of the same forward going forward. Today at ET Infra's Aviation Connect, we are joined by Mr. Dharmapuri, who is the Chief Technology Officer for Blue Jay. So, Mr. Dharmapuri, really appreciate you know, joining us out here at uh, ET Infra. Now, uh, your company, Blue Jay, you are the Chief Technology Officer. If you could outline in terms of the genesis of this uh, you know, aerospace company, where oh. it started and how it's evolved over the years. Yeah, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to speak to ET. And uh, uh, basically, the idea of forming the company was to solve for the problem of connectivity. Uh, so, in uh, in many countries like ours, uh, building heavy infra uh, endlessly is not going to be feasible. Where uh, all that is required, the heavy airport uh, capital intensive uh, undertakings will take a long time to materialize and uh, high speed rail. So, we wanted to solve the connectivity problem by unlocking the third dimension to right. VTOL aircrafts. Right. So that's kind of the main thought behind Blue Jay. Right. Uh, today, you know, uh, as we can see, you know, right, uh, you know, side us is your uh, experimental VTOL. Uh, uh, if you could give us uh, a little bit of brief in terms of the uh, concept and the design and it's right now in the experimental stage. So what are your plans in terms of with this particular product in the future? Right. Uh, so like you said, the first one is a technology demonstrator. Uh, one uh, thought process for us from the beginning of the company was to actually build quickly and verify your assumptions, verify your simulations or whatever uh, uh, design you have created in the real world. So that is what is the purpose of this first flight demonstrator where we have gone with the configuration we feel will best utilize this weight class. Right. So, uh, you will expect to see more changes in the next gen uh, prototype that we are currently building, which will be up and running in very next few months, uh, sure. two to three months is our timeline for that particular prototype as well. Uh, basically, it's trying to do the work of a helicopter plus an airplane in one. So, VTOL, most VTOLs uh, especially try to get you the benefits of both worlds where it is able to take off and land from a limited space right. but then it is able to cruise like a regular aircraft and get you the maximum uh, energy efficiency. Right. Uh, you know, as you would know, um, you know, definitely that recently uh, the DGCA and the Civil Aviation Ministry have laid the uh, guidelines in terms of the technicalities, you know, associated with the, uh, you know, VTOL, EVTOL aircraft that have to come plus, uh, you know, the guidelines on the vertiports. Right. So, uh, how do you see the framework? We had not yet have had a, you know, what you call a, a functioning eVTOL ecosystem as of yet. They are also yet to start in other countries like UAE, China, even in the United States. So, uh, your take on it, where do you see the entire ecosystem in its very initial, uh, you know, stages coming off? Yeah, so uh, for me, it's been very promising, to be honest, because it's, you always have to start. That's the biggest step you need to take. Uh, when you start and put it out there, that's when people like us can also build for that, right? So the regulation that you talk about recently have come up. That gives us a framework for us to tailor our craft also, to be within that particular regulation, where uh, it's a marriage between what is useful and what regulation uh, has mandated, right? 
So on that front, our conversations with DGCA and Ministry of Civilization also have been quite promising. Where they have said they will work with us, players like us, uh, to also refine their regulation that have they have kept in the draft stages. So I think this is one particular area where we are rubbing shoulders with anybody else in the world, right? We are neck to neck uh, competing with uh, people around the world. Though may we have started uh, a little late in let's say VTOL industry. But we are catching up because the regulation is coming up, allowing for players as for us to uh, do these demos. Uh, it allows for it. So I would say, compared to other traditional aviation, this is one sector where we'll be competing with the world uh, right. because of regulation. Right. So you talked about you know uh, you know uh, competition and obviously you're developing the product. Uh, if you could outline a little bit in terms of the investment. Uh, you know the new product lines apart from obviously the experimental work you're doing it you know how far uh, blue jay has come since its inception right uh, so we uh, started without any uh, institutional funding when we started uh, we wrote to government got a small grant uh, me and amar took the call to develop uh, a prototype design and so on but in 2023 we raised a seed fund from prominent vcs uh, India Partners, Idea Spring, and uh, Rain Matter Foundation, which is a zero the company, uh, zero the uh, arm for inv climate investments. So we got uh, that institutional funding and helped us build the team and also accelerate our product. Uh, we will raise more funds when we move towards certification of our first craft. Right. So that's something in in works, and uh, uh, we should we'll put it out there when that materializes soon enough, and uh, yeah. That, that will take us to the next level of the company. Right. So my last question, you touched upon the certification and that is the, you know, the main sort of inflection point. When do you expect those certifications to come about? Right. We'll start certification this year. All right. uh, so we have already had informal conversations where we uh, just introduced our intent on certifying and uh, what sort of technology we will be looking at. Uh, but formally, we'll do the certification certificate this year uh, soon. Uh, exact timeline I'll be able to share uh, soon, but uh, then we expect in next year we will be able to commercialize the right. product and be able to give it to our customers. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining us out here at Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. Very recently, the government has identified five locations located in Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh for undertaking controlled flights of eBitol. Now, this control flights of eVTOLs will be undertaken under the supervision of Ministry of Civil Aviation, Air Force Authority of India and DGCA. This flight tests are expected to be undertaken over a period of 12 to 18 months. Now, major companies, both domestic and foreign eVTOL manufacturers, will flight test their craft in this very sandbox regulatory environment. And this will enable the creation of the necessary framework of advanced air mobility solutions in the country. Already, India's major transport and travel companies such as Interglob Enterprises have already entered into MOU with American eVTOL manufacturers such as Archer uh, for uh, undertaking advanced air mobility and air taxi services in the country very soon. Yeah.